Hi. Hello. This is K6XOX. And call sign in Thailand is Hotel Sugar One India Fork Truck Uniform. So, this is a bit. Um, this video is going to be the part 3, which is a um, conclusion on how to build the, uh, the eye gate, which is. Um, um, project is done by the team in Thailand which is the um, get the name for this project they said is the Indie iGate the variety of the function that all you need for the cheapest I think it's cheapest for the iGate and um, you know it's cheap for ESP8266 and for the Arduino chip for the um, display OLED so let's talk about this one um, in the previous part we show you not we I show you how to fetching the uh, ESP 8266 why I say fraction why not I say programming because I'm not programming the guy who created the program which is I'm not sure there are so many people but I have to give the credit to them is um, Echo 27 uh, Echo 27 Alpha Sierra Yankee and um, the team so many people you know and uh, you can take a look at that on the web website they posting the code so basically is the project is have like we know you know the uh, packet radio we have to have a modem which is come down to one chip back then we have like let's see we use I used to play with this guy TNCX you know Many people are used, but it still works. So this is a KISS mode, KISS, keep it stupid and simple mode. You know, it worked. I, I use it for display the uh, raw data for my project, and I have bunch of project here I built. So for you know, package radio, the beacon, and bunch of the. Um, what they call it, the weather station, early warning system, or stuff like that. That's my project. I built a bunch of them. So I have played with a bunch of the uh, GPS and I test them, see how it looks before I get back to the, the idea. I bought a lot of GPS and test out, see how it works. So, okay, let's get back to this one. As you can see the picture, the diagram behind this let me explain on diagram first so this is a basic of the the eye gate that uh, you can get this copy in color I will post it or you can look into the website and this is OLED which is on the I square C in the fit and this one also I square C in the fit this is a sensor for uh, pressure barometer and temperature or so humidity and they have a buzzer as we can see the background BP that's what I turn it on and this is uh, ESP8266 this is the game changer back in the old day they came out about maybe five years ago it's become very popular because it's very lightweight and it connect to uh, internet you don't need to plug in a K45 so you can use the Wi-Fi and this is a diagram and this is the Arduino Pro Mini so you can use this Pro Mini or you can use just the regular you can use this Pro Mini to become the uh, TNC not like the box there you know and this TNC well you know it's cheap that's why they come back popular in Chinese 
I order from Sunjun, China. It cost me, um, how much is that? It's like uh, five dollars. This five dollars. Yeah. But anyway, I use this the uh, packet, dual inline packet, just because I think it's last longer than SMT and. Beside that is only one chip and the ceramic oscillator for 16 megahertz. That's all they need. They don't need any variety component, but as you can see on the circuit, you will need a lot because you need this one. The uh, they call the ladder to generate PWM for transmit the package over the air and plug into the microphone and when you receive receive from the speaker to the analog pin and then they decode to become the kiss mode and send communication to this guy this guy will process everything so because you could you use two chip one chip is just take care for decoder encoder and this chip just take care for transfer the data from AFSK and become your know, the real data digital data go to the internet to the APS.IS server simple huh back in the old day we I remember I used a UI wheel software you know and but that that is still working today that's why I still using for the offline but this is a revolution for so for the for the ham imagine that um, not all the ham expert on the computer programming and not all the ham expert on electronics they only have the basics so when you pass the uh, the license for amateur radio license they basic but they don't teach you the microcontroller this is uh, like all kind of like engineering stuff even today people love to program but they forgot one thing about the basic electronics which is plus and minus say hey how how the diode have the cathode and anode and how the led get you know light emitting stuff like that so so still still a lot, a lot of people don't really know exactly how electronics work so i don't blame them so because uh technologies came too fast anyway this the diagram i'll, I'll post it on the link for you guys and this is what we call that it's a virtual diagram you don't need to understand the schematic you just buy it and you just solder it and connect it you know this uh, diagram you, they can be like they call the high bridge you can put the GPS here and you set the jumper and then they become the uh, tracker mode like they set up here see? they set you know, build for the eye gate mode or the tracker mode. I think, and, and the 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 standard the GPIO this is a very common. And I got a lot of the, in the previous video that you take a look at the how to put the program, fetching the program in here, and how to flash the program in here. So it's a two different thing. So if you program it, you have to plug into the IDE. It means you have to have a source code. Somebody not really, uh, what I call it, capable to do it because they have so many. You have to install the library, stuff like that. And this one we just plug in, we use the ESP8266 Fracture. And this guy, I don't know, we only use the X, X loader to just put the hex code in there. And this is just a binary code in there. It worked fine, and uh, the guy who make it software, they, they make it so simple. They just and this guy you can what they call that OTA, yeah, on the air. OTA mean on the air update firmware from the web browser interface, so you can do it from there. Yeah, I'm not gonna go back there because I already show you on the uh, number two, no number one part one. Okay. Let's get back here. So, um, a lot of people that you look into the website, you can see people make a really nice schematic, very nice PCB, they call breakout board. 
so you can plug in a lot of things so for me I prefer this kind of stuff because um, we I, I'm not I'm not gonna build this one for sale so for example this one I just built for one of my friends in southern Thailand uh, with your sugar egg India Alpha Victor so he helped me a lot to fix the radio so I decided to build the eye gate for him so I'm gonna build another one but um, for giveaway so basically it mean they what we call it we go give and take right we give them we take something we can exchange it's fair okay let's go back to this one this is a chip we connect by um, SCL and SCA data and ground VCC which is VCC this one we're talking about 3.31 which is the same as the VCC in this board okay and you can see IP and TNC I set to uh, 19 and 200 baud rate and you have the uh, uh, recess suite and uh, more forgive me I put the you know the club rubber club because I don't want you to see my ugly finger <laughs> and it's the regular 5-1 3 pin regulator and bunch of the uh, buster here and also have the uh, a sensor here in the back this is the um, same thing i square c interface so i square c interface they only need everything parallel on the same bus and they get the address on each the, the device so so they uh, recognize by the program so you don't need to worry about that so this is a 3 pin 451 to 3.3 which is this the new technology <laughs> they they work with the 3.31 so it's good so I can put on the uh, small battery like 18650 which is a 3.61 it work with the battery and last pretty long it's kind of cool and the buster and, uh, I show you in the back side which is not very really nice but work right yeah you know for someone you want to do the same as me it's not that hard it can become the DIY so you just you know this is all the um, the component that you can find in the market so for this board they come out the variety of the breakout board too I got this one because I bought I got the free sample from China they send me a lot so that's why I try to use it and give them a feedback okay let's powder it up when you powder it up it look pretty nice you mean graphic I love it uh, with the car logo in there Boop. Uh, exit price is on and the IK firmware version the IK is on sometimes it's IK it's off because you not have the internet so this is uh, when you install the sensor they show the temperature and the um, okay and this is like they connect already connected to the Wi-Fi they give me give me the uh, static IP which is I have the sticker 192.168.1.22 so they and you see the red one it means the, the beacon they send it out it means it show that they communicate to this uh, modem chip so because it's in the kiss mode you don't need to program anything cosine in here so this guy will send the command you know like AT command to the kiss mode to put on the cosine and whatever they need to the package radio and in here you can have the reset switch can press the reset and reset everything beginning again let's go closer and I have the most sweet basically the most sweet is a boost when you want to flashing the the Wi-Fi no sorry the chip is a ESP8266 so when I press the most switch you can see uh, another hidden you know function oh. Hold on. 
just a minute. This way number two, you can see the raw package, and you can see the last hurt because of this one is just finished. It doesn't have a last hurt. Hmm, I don't know. You have to wait a little bit. Ah, this way statistic network setup. You can see the IP station setup. Station in four. Not bad, huh? So Wi-Fi scan, you can scan Wi-Fi. Test one, test two. You know. They they have all kinds. See? Uh oh. Okay. How come they backward now? <laughs> okay. That's about it. So this is uh the conclusion on the video that maybe you know um, convince you guy to build the i gate for the thailand uh, we have the project in thailand with the uh, the uh, ras i mean radio amateur society thailand which is um we associate and we provide the a lot of him so we install a lot of this around the thailand and um, when we drive around Thailand, so we, we have the um, a long thought about that when in the future in the emergency or ambulance or anything, so we can see how the ambulance can go to. We're not like a country like US or any country in the world which is already have infrastructure. We try to build in what we have, and government not give much money, so we have to. Hell of a sale in the com in the ham community. Okay then, that's about it, and um, we'll see you guys later. And uh, thank you for watching, and stay safe with the uh, healthy, no health, no COVID nineteen. Stay free. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.